Today's episode of Podsky Outdoors comes to you from the Great Lakes, where we're in the state of Wisconsin right now, doing a little fall salmon fishing. This is a favorite pastime for many badgers. The reason why they come here is they love to see their float drop. Now, we came out here today with two of our guys. We have big old Kyle Devers of Big Boy Fishing, and Jared Carlson, he's one of our pros that's been all over the country with us. Both of these guys get excited when they see the bobber drop. Now, we came out here today with a plan to use several different baits. Unfortunately, it's the very beginning of the season. What that means is there's not many salmon around, okay? We were four for nine, and we feel fortunate to be four for nine. The season just started, the fish are just coming in. To be honest, we saw seven guys on the bank next to Kyle. He's the only one that caught a fish there today. Um, we're fishing. A simple setup, 10 foot 6 drift rod. I got a 20 pound braided line on with an ESB. Uh, this is a slip float with a, with a weight, it's a quarter ounce. Barrel swivel to 17 pound fluorocarbon leader to a one aught hook. And then I'll actually use, it's an egg loop knot, just so then I can put my skein up in there and it holds it better. Now Jared had a little bit better. He may have just had a better spot, but he was three for five today. Now all those fish came on a combination of skein that was first cured in fire cure and then dusted off with boraxo fire. The reason why these guys do that is the fire cure makes them nice and milky and juicy and the boraxo fire kind of makes them a little bit more tacky and less gooey. And the salmon in Wisconsin seem to love that. All right, you saw us catch some nice salmon today. I want to show you the setup I'm using. So I've got a 9.8 Lama Glass rod, Infinity Series, works really well. Um, anything from like the 9 foot to 12 foot range works pretty good. We're running slip floats in the harbor here. So we've got a knot bead bobber weight hook. Um, if you slide down here, you'll see a swivel. And that goes from my main line to 16 pound fluorocarbon, which we can get away with right now because the harbor's a little murky. When it's clear, I'll go down to like 10 or 12 pound. On the end of this, there's an egg loop. So what I'll do is I'll open up the egg loop here and then I'll put it behind my hand so you can see. So the egg loop, just like that, is basically where you put the eggs and then you pull on the line and the egg loop gets smaller, it cinches down on the eggs. That's what holds the eggs on the hook. Seems to work really well. Uh, I'll show you with a piece of skein right now. So what you do is you have your eggs in a bag and you have your skein pieces, but what you wanna do is just take some scissors and you cut a chunk off of it, just like this. You end up with a smaller piece and what I like to do before I put it on the egg loop is I'll almost fold it with my fingers around itself like that. And then what you do is you come in with the egg loop, you back out that piece of line to create that loop. And then you take that loop and you put it around the eggs and then you pull it tight. So what happens as you pull it tight, you'll see the eggs fall right around the hook like that and then you can see it sits on the hook real nice too and that's how we fish them under a float and then when you set the hook the eggs all burst and it reveals the hook on the inside and that's what sticks the fish all right so this is the skein here I want to get a little bit more specific about how we get to this point so what we do is we keep a female king and then we sprinkle the skeins with fire cure and you rub it in with your fingers and you actually let that sit in a Ziploc bag overnight. And then after that, we'll sprinkle it with Baraxo fire. And that really helps tack it up a little bit. And we just cut chunks out of this. And that seems to work the best for me. There's a lot of curing options for skein, but this seems to be very effective. We're like any other place in Wisconsin. It's a harbor. A lot of the salmon don't necessarily return to river systems like they would say in Michigan or in New York. A lot of them here come to harbors. And sure, there's rivers around here as well, don't get me wrong, and they will go in there. But there's a lot of salmon that end their life in harbors. So sure enough, what did we do? We did the best method out there. We put that skein under a float Drifted it around, created that scent trail, and caught some beautiful salmon here today. Now, if you don't have your own skein, 
Our goal was to come out here with Potsky's new trout eggs, tie those in spawn sacks and do that, but the bite just wasn't even strong enough for us to attempt to do that, simply because there were not many fish around. This season just started. We hope to come back and try that again next time, but in this episode, we had a great time fishing right in the marina. You can see cars going by us every second, getting as excited as we were when the bobbers went down. This is a very busy area, it's no secret. It's where everybody goes, right to the harbor to see their floats drop. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.